Please be seated. Ong chum chum now back in session. Reprise de l'audience. The chamber will hand the floor to the co prosecutors and the lead co lawyers for civil parties to put questions to the witness. And you may proceed. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. President. Monsieur le Président, vous aviez évoqué I apologize, avant Mr. President, la coupure la possibilité de me redonner la parole en quelque temps. Je constate que vous donnez However, directement... Euh... I note that you have given the floor directly to uh, my colleague. Uh, And I allow the Chamber to clarify the matter oui, de la chambre de uh, based on our deliberation. À l'issue de nos délibérations, the chamber will hand the floor first to the co-prosecutors and the co-lawyers for civil parties, and if a time Et remains, il reste du temps. it would be given again to the defense counsel. I hope it is clear. And clair. the lead co-lawyer for civil parties, Donc, you may resume the floor. Pour les civils, on met dans la parole. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. Je cède Thank la you, parole Mr. à mon confrère Hong Kim Sung. Thank you, Mr. President. I will Hong give Kim the Sung. floor to my colleague uh, Hong Kim Sung. Uh, Hong Kong Soon. My name is Hong Kong Soon, and first, uh, my greeting and respects to the bench and everyone in and around the courtroom. And Mr. Witness, I have uh, some questions to report to you in addition to all the questions put to you this morning by the Defense Council. When people were Evacuated on the 17th April 1975, and you told that you made a pretty long journey during the evacuation. Was it your intention to make that long journey? Aviez-vous l'intention de faire un tel voyage? And uh, yes, good afternoon, Council, and allow me to respond to your question. Permettez-moi de répondre à votre question. The long journey was not the intention of our family. Notre famille n'avait pas prévu de faire It was the principle set forth by the leadership at the time. Que les Question, leaders which leadership à are you referring Question, to? De quel leader parlez-vous? Answer. De quel dirigeant? Question. We were evacuated in 1975 when we uh, were under the control nous avons été en 1975 of uh, Pol Pot. That is my belief that the principle was set forth by je Pol Pot, pense que Pol Pot qui a de cela. for us to evacuate Pol from our base uh, to the mountainous area. De là où nous étions, vers Question, les please uh, Question. respond briefly as the time is of essence to us. Pas Question. De While you were en route, what was your observation? Did you see old people, women, young children traveling along? Des femmes, des enfants qui se déplaçaient seuls? Answer. Réponse. When we were evacuated, uh, when we were forced to leave, everybody had to leave, including the young infants, the old people, and the young people. And the journey was very slow, as uh, there were too many people on the street. Question. My question to you is, what happened uh, on, on route if you witnessed anything for si instance? Quoi que ce soit. Answer. Réponse. 
Some people didn't have food to eat. Certaines Some got uh, fainted uh, en route. D'autres se sont évanouis. That is all. Et c'est tout. Question. Question. Were there any emergency assistance team organized by the Khmer Rouge to assist those people des while they en route? Pour de soutien des gens qui, dont la tâche était de venir en aide pour ces personnes? Answer: No, it seems uh, there was none. Non. And we were actually forced uh, to move on quickly. Nous a forcé à aller rapidement. There was no medical assistance provided while we were en route. Question. Question. You spoke uh, rather at length this morning, and I'd like to ask you a little bit about uh, coming down from Chimera Mountain matin, to uh, what's like. You said there were thousands of uh, people there, de or at least, least hundreds of families, and you ran out of food. And the Khmer militia made an announcement on the last speaker asking for those who were former Lunar soldiers or civil servants. Were there many people who actually registered their names so that they could be reinstated in their previous positions? Answer. It was my observation at the time. There were ce que observé. people who actually registered. I, I cannot tell you whether there were more or less people, but usually those who didn't have food or who Je ran out of food would register in order to manger, receive rice. Question. Question. You were asked by the defense counsel this morning La about those who registered their names and they claims that uh, they used to be former Lunar soldiers or civil servants. Et qui disait être d'anciens soldats ou fonctionnaires de l'ONU. I heard from what you said that uh, sometimes people who did not have any position in the previous government, for example, uh, a cyclo driver or tuk tuk uh, driver, claimed uh, to be civil servants. Were there many of these cases? Être de l'ancien régime, y en avait-il beaucoup de ces Answer. From what I observed, uh, uh, in certain instance uh, there were people who registered their names as claims they were soldiers and there were also ordinary civilians who registered their names for exchange of rights. Question. Was a prayer given, for instance, in your uh, case uh, to Par your exemple, father so that your father uh, could register the names of the family members? Or did you have to go to a certain location to register the names? De la famille, ou -vous vous un and so, uh, actually, I walked réponse. behind him. Moi, he went to register his name. Il a mis son nom. And he was asked. Uh, where was his military uh, barrack? Where did he? Where was he employed? And how many family members in the family? And upon uh, giving them the information, the rise uh, amount was given to him. Question: After your uh, family names were registered and rise was given. You said the militia to the seven families of Jura to. Uh, Pray Runkla for rest. Allow me to uh, cut us through uh, some points and let me now go to the pit je vais aller maintenant directement à la where fosse people où were executed. La you said that uh, your family members uh, were shot dead and dragged by their foot in par le and pied thrown into the pit. Dans la fosse. And there were about two bodies lying okay. above you. Corps sur vous. And you try to open your eye to, to look around and un oeil, did you hear anything uh, from those uh, Khmerus who actually killed your family members? Entendu, entendu les qui ont tué votre Answer, when I said I 
opened my eyes Donc, a little. Ouvert, uh, it was not when I was in the pit. Actually, I was still uh, uh, not dragged into a pit yet. Je pas été dans la I heard they said that you, you contemptible, you actually stepped on my chest for uh, many years, and now it's our turn to step sur ma on your chest. Et bien, notre tour maintenant d'être sur votre poitrine. Question. question and when you uh, escaped from the uh, pit Et together with your other three uh, relatives and with uh, trust that uh, pagoda, pagoda and you said that before the situation became rather chaotic there was a group of soldiers who made an announcement uh, to arrest four children who were connected ah. to CIA. And what did you understand of the word CIA at the time? Answer. At that time, the, the force. La, le résumé des Mr. déclarations President, du témoin qui vient d'être fait est inexact. Pour avoir des réponses claires, il faudrait que notre confrère. Résume My colleague should sum up in an uh, inadequate way uh, what the witness said. Council, uh, Mr. President, this morning I heard the witness testify that uh, when they arrived at the pagoda, the Khmerus were searching for the four children who were accused of having connection to CIA. And my question to him is whether he actually heard that announcement himself. Quelle annonce? Qui vous a parlé d'annonce Which announcement Who spoke to you about Moi, an announcement Moi, j'ai pas entendu le témoin ce matin parler d'une annonce et encore moins au micro. I didn't micro. hear the witness speak about an announcement this morning and even less so on the microphone. Elle a participé. Yeah, for civil parties, uh, Mr. President, allow me to uh, respond. Monsieur le Président, uh, let me refresh it. Uh, Je vais reformuler. Did you say this? Did you say this morning Avez that when you return to Charles La Pagoda? You were being searched by the Khmer Rouge group that you were part of the four children who had connection with the CIA. Witness, in response to the question put to me by the Defense Council on this matter, and I said when I returned to Cross Night Pagoda, I asked for food from the people there, and I met some friends who were, I met some people who were my parents' friends, and they were asking for the whereabouts of my parents, and I told them that uh, they all had been killed, and the situation became chaotic within the uh, compound of the uh, Pagoda. So I uh, took my relatives and hired them, and at that time, the working group of the Khmerus who were actually distributing rice made an announcement on a loudspeaker that, please, don't believe the propaganda of the CIA as our militia group is searching to arrest the four Kids or the four Recherche people says the witness. Question. So this morning you also Question. told the chamber that your father was a former uh, Lunar soldier. What was his rank? rank if you know it. Si vous en, si vous le savez. Answer. Réponse. My father was a soldier at Jan Sarit Barret. He was a captain and a personal driver for a general at the Jan Sarit Barret. Question. This is my last question. Ma dernière question maintenant. After the 6 January 1979. Have you ever heard there are any news regarding your the whereabouts of your father? Entendu. Des nouvelles uh, no, I haven't. Où se trouvait votre père? Réponse non. And I did not uh, decide to search for him as I was uh, sure that he was killed. 
Council, uh, thank you. I am then Mr. President, and I'd like to hand the floor to uh, my colleague, the co-prosecutors. National Deputy Co-Prosecutor, thank you, Mr. President, and Merci, good afternoon, Mr. Mr. President, Your bon Honours, and good afternoon, Mr. Witness. Bon -midi, uh, I have some questions for you, and my first question may be difficult uh, for you. Please bear with us. This morning, the Defence Counsel said that matin, he didn't believe the story or the events that you described to the Chamber, mm -hmm. and that it seems a, a fabrication. What is your lui, uh, response to the Defence Counsel's reaction that uh, the story that you said there Donc, was a fabrication. Vous avez toute cette Witness, Réponse. thank you for the question. Merci de me poser cette question. I think uh, the accusation or the allegation by the defense counsel that in my capacity as a police inspector, that what I told him du, de de la is a fabrication, de but I told him repeatedly that it is not a fabrication, and I witnessed, pas witnessed the events personally. And also before my appearance, I took an oath before the Island Cup statue, and I will only tell the truth. La statue à la barre de fer. Et j'ai dit que je ne dirais que la vérité. Le président. Deputy co-prosecutor, please also mention your name so that it is part of the record. Veuillez dire votre nom pour qu'il soit consigné. Deputy co-prosecutor, my name is Song Chao Won. I'm a national deputy. Deputy co-prosecutor, I don't have many questions for this witness. National, je n'ai pas de questions. Mr. Witness. Regarding the shooting of the, your family members, please uh, confirm it again whether it is bon, true or whether it is a oui, fabrication. Me si ce que vous avez dit est vrai ou si vous l'avez inventé. Answer. Réponse. Allow me to read, restate it again that it is the truth de plus and la I vérité. do not add anything Je into rien it. Ajouté. I held a strong belief in my oath that I je will only tell the truth based on what I saw and what I know. Deputy Co-Prosecutor, thank you. Merci. A while ago, you were asked by the uh, National Lead Co-Lawyer uh, that you referred to a Khmer Rouge working group. La was the uh, working group de uh, composed of uh, Khmer Rouge soldiers? Vous avez de groupe de travail de Please Rouge. clarify. Mais qui était un groupe de soldats Veuillez préciser. And uh, I refer to, to them as a working group because they de were standing on stage at a dining hall in the pagoda dans un réfectoire and there, were, there was a pile of rice sacks ready Et for distribution. They made an announcement for people who would come to register uh, as former civil servants in exchange for rice. And the working groups composed of armed people and militia de miliciens et de personnes armées. Question. Question. So, uh, the working group or the uh, soldiers Donc, that you refer to, how many of them were all together? Combien en avait-il au total? Answer. Uh, uh, there were not many and uh, they seems to be security guards or bodyguards. It seems that their presence there was to protect mm -hmm. their, their bosses or their superiors. And there were those who registered the names and those who dealt with the rice distribution. Question. And on the issue Question. of the announcement to the people there, mm -hmm. How was it uh, conducted, if you uh, still recall it? Comment what were the exact words used? Les termes employés? Answer. Réponse. They made an announcement to look for 
civil servants and their military personnel to come and register their names in exchange for rights so that they would be sent to be respected in their previous positions. Question. Did they uh, mention in the announcement the uh, types or the categories of people they were Dans looking for? Dit quel genre de personnes ils And uh, from what I heard, Réponse. it uh, seems that they didn't look for any innocent or ordinary people. They were searching disait, for civil servants and military personnel. Ils semblaient être à la recherche de militaires et de fonctionnaires. Question. Question. So they were making an announcement to look for civil servants or uh, military personnel. And uh, which regime uh, are you referring to? I mean, those civil servants or military personnel. Administration fait vous référence. And uh, they were searching for civil servants and military personnel also used to serve the Lunol administration. Defense Council interrupt, Mr. Mr. President, I'd uh, like to make an observation. Mr. In Mr. fact, uh, the uh, Khmer word used at the time is uh, not actually a civil servant or Mantrai Rika in Khmer. It's Mantrai Rwataka. The political prosecutor, in fact, sir, the word is used by the uh, witness, so I refer to it uh, as it is stated in the statement. And Mr. Witness, to you, is there any clear distinction between the two phrases in Khmer, Mantrai Rikika and Mantrai Rotaka? Witness, uh, what is stated by the defense counsel is correct. And actually, the term is used for the present uh, government, and the term was used uh, differently for the lunar regime. They did not use the word Montrai Ritika. So I agree with the observation made by the defense counsel. Deputy co prosecutor, thank you. And I'd like to move on to another a topic. And that is about what happened when you arrived at the Krang Luir commune. Could you please tell the chamber what happened to your family? That is, after your family members had been killed and that you fled to Krang Luir commune. L'exécution de votre famille. Answer. Pouvez-vous nous expliquer? When we are separated from one another at Trostnaya Pagoda, we were sent in groups uh, to various communes. Certain communes had to accommodate a certain number of families, and those family members would be under the uh, control of et that commune. And at that time, we would be considered to be part of cooperative and it was placed in Okroko village and later on moved to Chimtiu Chirai village. And subsequently, I was relocated to a cooperative called Krang Levier in Tang Kru village, dans le village de Tang Krang Levier commune. Dans la commune de Krang Levier. Question. Question. And when you arrived at the Krang Levier commune Lorsque cooperative, what were you assigned to do? Quelle était votre tâche? And sir, at that time I was pretty young and I was sent Réponse to a, a children's center. centre d'enfants. And I was asked to deal with uh, the production of fertilizer, that Je is uh, to collect cow dung and to cut country and cut trees. And once the fertilizer was made, then huge group would uh, take it uh, to be spread out on rice fields. Question. Did you make any uh, 
any mistake when you were working in a children's Question. unit? Were you ever disciplined? Dans cette unité d'enfance, avez-vous subi des sanctions? Answer. Réponse. I was always careful because I knew what would happen if I were not. So I did not si dare to uh, risk making any mistake, and I only and I simply did what I was asked to do. Monsieur le Président, vous avez annoncé tout à l'heure que la défense de Kusampan aurait peut-être un petit moment supplémentaire pour poser des questions s'il reste du temps. Et je constate que la stratégie, bien évidemment, des procureurs consiste maintenant à aller sur des terrains qui n'ont absolument aucun rapport avec notre procès. Là, vraiment, les questions que vous posez sont totalement en dehors du champ du procès. Il semble évident qu'il s'agit pour l'accusation de gagner du temps et de pousser jusqu'au bout, d'utiliser tout le temps qu'il aurait eu afin que la défense ne puisse pas ensuite continuer à poser des questions au témoin. C'est la raison pour laquelle je m'oppose à ce que l'accusation poursuive dans cette direction. Je vous remercie. The deputy co-prosecutor um, is, is interrupted by the president. Le président. The national de deputy co-prosecutor, you may continue with your questioning and uh, defense counsel. The chamber will consider uh, your observation and objection. National deputy co-prosecutor, l'accusation. I'd like to uh, continue my line of questioning, and if I am not interrupted, there might be a time remain for the defense. Mr. Witness, my last question was put to you, whether you uh, made any mistake or that you uh, were disciplined for you were working in the children's unit. Please uh, respond again. But, after I came I actually told my younger sibling and relative to start to work hard and not to violate any regulations or rules set forth by Ong Kai. Otherwise, we would be subject to disciplinary action and that could ultimately lead to being killed if we were to commit a serious offense or we might be put in prison as part of the disciplinary action. Question, and why did you Question. give such advice to your relatives Pourquoi in order to avoid being exposed to disciplinary de... action? Did you witness anything that led you to make that advice? Answer, so, in fact, I did. I saw some young ch children being beaten up. Vu que des enfants avaient été and battus. some were sent uh, to the re-education center, dans le centre de and the four of us, we were still under investigation. Nous quatre, nous toujours sous enquête. When I were in the cooperative, in the cooperative, I told my relatives that we were being monitored, so please try not to do anything noticeable that we might be a court. Because we, they were still searching for us, as we were the children of the soldiers who had been killed. So we tried to adhere to all the principles set forth by them. Questioned in the written record of interview with the OCIJ investigator, that is document E3-5201, at Khmer EN 0021, and in English, 0027-5142-41, and in French, 0027-5142-41, you spoke about a detention center or a prison named Krang Lovie, and we are right discussing about the Krang Lovie cooperative. Could you describe her about the Krang Lovie detention center or prison? Answer. 
I was tasked to ten cattle. Je devais m'occuper du bétail. And some cows got this uh, yellow-like uh, disease, and four or five of the cows uh, got this disease. Les so I tied them up in a row so that they could not uh, walk far. Et je devais... And I held the rope uh, in my hand. Une corde. And actually, the owner of the uh, cows Le from the same district reported to the chief of the militia that I starved the cows without allowing uh, them eating grass. In fact, I only uh, tied them one to one in order to avoid them walking far because uh, they were sick. And for that reason, I was placed in their detention center. Question. And Question. what happened to you when you when you were sent to the detention Et center? And what did you see? Au centre de détention, qu'avez-vous vu? I'm 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 sure it's very interesting what this witness witness has to say about that security center, but it's obviously not within the scope uh, of this appeal. Um, it's also not in the scope of why we're asking questions uh, to this witness to begin with. So please um, instruct. The prosecution to stop asking questions on this subject, which is way outside of the scope of 21. We gather um, the prosecution wants to test the credibility of this witness. Isn't it? National the Deputy Court Prosecutor, uh, Madame Judge, first allowed to touch the credibility of the events Madame that this witness described. Secondly, there is la information related to the Krangovi Security Et Center. Il y a aussi des à propos du centre and de Krang I'd like to ask about the Et experience donc, of this witness, whether son uh, the witness uh, witnessed any killing at that si center as he was placed there. President, allow me to ask the witness on this very topic. Uh, Mr. Witness, when you were tending the cows and that you were sent to be detained at the Kranglovia Detention Center, uh, what year was it? Witness. We were evacuated in 1975. Is Nous that so, Mr. President? En President, my, que question, Président? my question to you, Mr. President, uh, Mr. Witness, is Monsieur that uh, you were tending cows and that you were alleged by the cows owner of uh, starving the cows. And then later you were uh, detained. When did it happen? Answer. It happened in Réponse. 1975. If there is the case, the deputy co-prosecutor si may continue. La co-procureur nationale peut poursuivre. Co-prosecutor, I would like to resume my line of questioning. Je vais poursuivre. I put I'm sorry, just to say that this center of security is not even in the ordinance of closure. Excuse me, but this is not even in the ordinance of closure. It's even more in the middle of the first trial. I don't see why the prosecution would ask questions for hours about a place that is no longer to be found. I don't see why the prosecution would ask questions for hours about a place that is no longer to be found. I don't see why the prosecution would ask questions for hours about a place that is no longer to be found. I don't see why the prosecution would ask questions for hours about a place that is no longer to be found. I don't see why the prosecution would ask questions for hours about a place that is no longer to be found. I don't see why the prosecution would ask questions for hours about a place that is no longer to be found. I don't see why the prosecution would ask questions for hours about a place that is no longer to be found. I don't see why the prosecution would ask questions for hours about a place that is no longer to be found. I don't see why the prosecution would ask questions for hours about a place that is no longer to be found. I don't see why the prosecution would ask questions for hours about a place that is no longer to be found. I don't see why the prosecution would ask questions for hours about a place that is no longer to be found. I don't see why the prosecution would ask questions for hours about a place that is no longer to be found. I don't see why the prosecution would ask questions for hours about a place that is no longer to be found. I don't see why the prosecution would ask questions for hours about a place that is no longer to be found. I don't see why the prosecution would ask questions for hours about a place that is no longer to be found. I don't see why the prosecution would ask questions for hours about a place that is no longer to be found. I don't see why the prosecution would ask questions for hours about a place that is no longer to be found. I don't see why the prosecution would ask questions for hours about a place that is no longer to be found. I don't see why the prosecution would ask questions for hours about a place that is no longer to be found. I don't see why the prosecution would ask questions for hours about a place that is no longer to be found. I don't see why the prosecution would ask questions for hours about a place that is no longer to be found. I don't see why the prosecution would ask questions for hours about a place that is no longer to be found. I don't see why the prosecution would ask questions for hours about a place that is no longer to be found. I don't see why the prosecution would ask questions for hours about a place that is no longer to be found. I don't see why the prosecution would ask questions for hours about a place that is no longer to be found. I don't see why the prosecution would ask questions for hours about a place that is no longer to be found. I don't see why the prosecution would ask questions for hours about a place that is no longer to be found. I don't see why the prosecution would ask questions I think 
if uh, the chamber is lenient to the submission made by the council, I think the co-prosecutor will have many interruptions from council. Nous, nous I would like to know about Krang Lavia Security oui, Center. What happened to you when you arrived at the place? J'aimerais savoir ce qui vous est arrivé, Monsieur le témoin, à cet endroit. Que vous de ce qui s'est passé. Answer. When I was taken into the security center of Krang Lavia, lorsque l'on m'a emmené au centre de sécurité de Krang Lavia, there were about 12 prisoners. Nous étions environ 12 who prisonniers. Who were shackled. Ces prisonniers étaient entravés They were put in par la cheville. A house, the so-called security center. Ils ont été emmenés dans une maison. And when I arrived in that security lorsque je suis arrivé dans ce centre de sécurité, they moved the prisoner close to each other so that there there was one space at the end uh, to detain me. And uh, the shackle was used, and the bar was inserted in the Une ring. And I was shackled at the time. I was detained together with uh, these old prisoners. Été avec les and uh, we would be released uh, when uh, we were needed to do the labor such as uh, to find uh, cassava, so to get I, together with uh, the old prisoners, uh, were doing the work. Je avec les Question, how many Question. prisoners were there in the prison? De were there any adults prison? or children? Y -il des adultes, des enfants? Answer, I was young at the time compared to other prisoners. Réponse, j'étais jeune à l'époque par rapport aux autres prisonniers. Ils étaient plus âgés que moi. C'était des hommes âgés. There were perhaps uh, 10 to 12 prisoners Il y en avait environ 10 ou 12 center. dans ce centre. Question, how long were Question. you detained in that center? Combien de temps avez-vous été détenu dans ce centre? Answer. Réponse. I was detained in that center for about two months. Été and deux mois after the chief of the cooperative or chief of unit uh, went to that center, Le chef de he asked dans ce what did that uh, young uh, child ce fait ce enfant. What did uh, the young child commit? Étaient ses fautes. Any wrongdoing, and uh, I, and uh, the chief, I was told Il that I was si under the accusation that I was starving uh, the cow. Une erreur, une faute, and at that time, I was released uh, with the manger. help of uh, that uh, cooperate, cooperative cheese, and I was assigned to ten cows afterwards. Et c'est ainsi que j'ai été libéré. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Winners. I conclude my line of Merci questioning, but I would like to seek the floor for my international colleague. President, you may now proceed, international co-prosecutor. Good afternoon, Your Honours, Counsel, Mr. Witness. Sir, during 1975, did you ever hear about a Khmer Rouge office called B5? Le B5. Bad. Answer. Réponse. I was young and I was tasked to tend cows. There on was an office on a small here away from Grand Lavia Security Center. It was about a one half kilometer away from uh, the center. The, then that office was on top of a small here and uh, people said that office was named as Port Office. Les gens disaient que cette, ce bureau s'appelait Port Office. It was said that that office name was Port. Port. Bureau Port. That office uh, was a uh, military uh, 
like office. C'était un bureau militaire. So which commune was Question. that in? If Dans you know. quelle commune se trouvait-il, si vous le savez? Question. Answer. It was in Crangleville commune. C'était dans la commune de Crangleville. Well, forgive my lack of knowledge of the geography of the area. Question. How close was that to PM commune? J'aimerais savoir à quelle distance de la commune de PM se trouvait ce bureau. The, um, witness, there is no uh, réponse. commune name Nien. Il a pas de commune qui okay, Nien. Forgive my pronunciation. Question How about pour ma um, do you know Chante village? -vous le village de Chante? Are you familiar with the Chante village in Kampong Chalach? Kampong Chalach. Mr. Witness, just so it's accurate, it's much better if my colleague pronounces it. Je crois que pour plus de précision, Monsieur le Témoin, je vais demander à mon confrère national de bien vouloir prononcer ces noms. Chan Tai. Chan Tai. Co-prosecutor, the name is Chan Tai. La co-procureur Chan Tai. Nijay Kiroum Kas. Witness. Le Témoin. Those who live in their areas would uh, know the names of uh, their area and no one could uh, trade pass onto other others location and at that time there was no commune named Chantai. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm asking about a village. Um, Let me have my colleague pronounce another location. I don't want to ask you if you're familiar with this location. Je vais demander à ma confrère de bien, ma consoeur plutôt de bien vouloir prononcer un autre nom. Vous demandez si vous connaissez ce ces endroits. Council for Kyoto Pond, Mr. President, I would like to Monsieur le Président, make an observation. The co-prosecutor appears to use le co a document or a map. So please uh, give us the reference. If you la can. Cote de ce document, si Thank you. I'd be happy to. Pas de problème. Well, the reason I'm asking these questions is reading Je the testimony of Nunchia. It's document E1 slash 14.1. At English, the ERN is 007 56159. In Khmer, it's 007. Five five three five four, and in French, the ERN is zero zero seven five six three zero zero. Mr. President, um, not only is that a document that you um, forbid to use, um, he's apparently asking about the secret office of. Um, CPK pre-75, um, it's getting into the absurd uh, to even begin to think that this witness at 14 year old would know anything intelligently at that time about this secret office. If I could respond, Your Honours, I didn't bring up the document. Council asked me for the reference. It's relevant because Nunchia has given a location. He certainly knows where the secret office was, where the party leadership was in April 1975, which is the very time of this massacre that the witness has spoken about. And that's part of the record in this case. Whether we use it at this hearing or not, it's on the record in case 2-2. My question to this witness is directed at how that location Je is, where is it located in relation to what happened to him, in particular in the relation to the Chak Sredek PM, the Chak Sredek Pagoda. President, Mr. International Co-Prosecutor, you are referring to E1 slash 14.1 and the SCC 
made the, dis the decision prohibiting parties from using that document. And as for Office B5, B5 from what I heard from uh, the witness, d'après ce que j'ai entendu de la bouche du témoin, I would like to know whether this Office B5 has something to do with uh, en fait, the facts before us. J'aimerais savoir en quoi uh, ce bureau B5 est lié au fait dont believe, nous sommes saisis. Uh, Office B5 is uh, out of the scope. Je pense que of le bureau B5 ne Could you clarify this point, uh, Mr. Co-prosecutor? Yes, thank you, Your Honor. Your Honor, it wasn't my plan to put the document either before Your Honors or before the witness at this hearing. However, it is testimony from Case 2-2. This witness has talked about what happened at a pagoda called Tsurak In his testimony in this very trial, Nunchia talked about Paul Pot and the party secretary had to move, this is before the attack to, on Phnom Penh, to a base near Phnom Penh in Bong Talong, Kong Tabong village, Chak Sedek Piem Kamyun, Kampong Chalak district. And then he said Pol Pot moved to Krang Dong Commune, also known as B5, which is adjacent to Piem Commune. So the simple point, and it's a small point, which I wish to make, is that the issue, I think, part of this calling this witness is the significance of what happened to him as far as being a policy of the leadership of the Khmer Rouge. What happened to him didn't happen in Mandalkiri or far from the leadership. It happened very close to the leadership, and that was the simple point I wanted to bring out to the testimony. Mr. Prosecutor, would you mind repeating the, um, uh, the uh, document number? Yes, it's a transcript number E1 slash 14.1, and the English ERN, Judge Millard, is 00756159, page 95 of the transcript. In Khmer, the ERN is 00753-54. Five, four. Uh, I am checking if uh, this is on the list. Um, it's definitely excluded. I, oh, and I, okay. I, that's why I did not plan to use the document. I was asking the witnesses questions about the location. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's excluded on your document decision. Uh, not including the page number. So the relevance, uh, the relevance of uh, this question is uh, for another case. No, the relevance of the question is to case 2-1. The relevance is whether this location that Nunchia said the leadership was at, where that was in relation to what happened to this witness, to the location where the people were asked to give their biographies and officers, soldiers from Lan Nol were separated out and taken to be killed. Did you relate earlier to uh, Nunchia's uh, statement in case 2 slash 2? No, this is 2 1. He hasn't, te he hasn't given any statement in 2 2. This is in case 2 1. Then, then, then you misspoke. I apologize. Okay. Uh, and the prosecution believes it's the best use of, the, uh, of their time. I certainly didn't think it would take this amount of time, but it's uh, all I want to ask the witness is about this location and how it relates to the uh, place, the pagoda, where people were forced to register or at, tricked into registering. Then we'll allow it if you have reasons to believe that the witnesses that the witness uh, has knowledge. Mr. Witness, my question now is simply in relation to location of the pagoda that you mentioned where people were asked to register for rice. So my colleague is going to read out a location. And first, tell us, are you familiar with this location? Si vous, comment, cet 
Je vais vous donner lecture de ce nom. Ma consoeur va le faire. National Deputy Co-Prosecutor, Mr. Winnett, adjoint. Monsieur le témoin, l'endroit dont parle le co-procureur international Bantalong, est Bantalong, Bantalong village de Kangtong Srek Srek, communauté de Kampong Tralach. Witness. There were two Kampong Tralach districts in the past. Kampung Trolaj Le and Kampung Trolaj Kram districts. Now the two districts combined together and it was named Sam Ki Min Chai district. I knew that Kampung Trolaj Kram was to the east of a national road and Kampung Trolaj Le was to the west of that national road. Okay, sir, if I understood your testimony correctly, you said that the registration and the separation of people according to their former occupations took place at Wat Shrak Sadaik village in Piem. Is that correct? Answer, yes. People Réponse. Oui, c'est exact. Gathered. Former uh, civil servant officials Les gens were gathered in Les anciens fonctionnaires ont été rassemblés dans la, dans la pagode de Shrak Sadak, dans la commune de Pem. Village. This Shrak uh, pagoda was Sadak. in Shrak Sadak village, Pem commune. Il bien donc de ce village et de la So where de this location, where this registration took place was in the very Troxedike village Donc, dans le village de Troxedike. that my colleague just read to you that location. It was in the same village. Dans le même village, le village dont ma collègue a Is that le correct? Nom. Exact? But answer I registered uh, my name in Gerard Sadaka Pagoda, right in the dead pagoda. It was in PM commune, and currently PM commune remains the same name. But for the district, it is it was named as Samki Menchay district. Mais le district était appelé le district de Samki Menchay. Sir, I know you're uh, probably tired, but I'd like to take you back to the 17th of April, 1975, and ask you to tell us what happened that actually made, made your family leave your home that day. Answer. Lunol regime failed in 19, by 1975. This regime was defeated by a Pol Pot regime. And after Pol Pot came into power, people were to be evacuated out of their home. And uh, people were frightened that if they did not leave their homes, the uh, America American Airlines would bombard their area, so people were evacuated into uh, mountainous areas. Who was living in your home that day, 17th April 1975? Can you tell us who lived with you? But, answer. My whole family, including my parents, Toute my ma famille, two siblings, parents, and my my two uh, sisters and my two soeurs, brothers, and together with me. So we frères, all we were all in our house. Okay, thank you. And these, by the way, the people Question. that you refer to as your cousins, Pourquoi the other survivors. Can you describe your relationship to them 
Uh, when you say cousin, sometimes people mean different things. Parfois, lorsque l'on dit cousin, on renvoie à des concepts différents. Bad. Answer. Réponse. My father was the Mon père? eldest uh, father of my cousin's father or mother, said the witness. And uh, we were all evacuated. Du père de mes cousins. Did your cousins also fait. live in the same village? Question. Avez-vous été évacué dans le même village? Answer. We Réponse. had lived in our old home village together, and uh, after uh, the Nous killing happened, after village, we survived the period, we also lived together. President, Mr. Witness, the co-prosecutor would like le to know about the time that you were evacuated. Uh, he wanted to know whether you and your cousins si were vous living vous together during the time that you were being evacuated. Witness. Mr. President, I Monsieur understand that there is a question from co-prosecutor, so I may have uh, understood question. wrongly the question. Actually, we question. had lived close to each other before we were en evacuated, fait, and uh, the distance from our houses, from my house to my cousin's house, Notre was about three kilometers maison, away. Thank you. So, sir, you mentioned question. that you were, people were afraid Monsieur. of bombing. American bombing. Why was that? Did anyone tell you that that was a danger? Can you explain? Answer. There was war. The country was uh, in war during the period. War between the Lunol and uh, Khmer Rouge. Les de there were bombardments, Khmer Rouge se battait, there were des bombardements. rocket launching almost des every day. Tous les jours. We were threatened that uh, the American uh, airplane would uh, bomb our places, On nous a menacé, and nous we were afraid, so we had to leave. Thank you. Uh, when you say you were threatened, did anyone Question. tell you that threat? Did you? Hear something on the radio? Did someone tell you? Or is this just something you yourself believed? But answer. I would like to give the response to this question. Je vais vous répondre. Khmer Rouge soldier wearing a black clothes uh, with rifles were marching into the province in the morning. I did not know where they were from and where they were going to. They were passing um, our place. And in the evening, the time that the, the, it was going to dark, these um, soldiers went uh, from houses to houses to evacuate us. It was the same uh, story depicted in the, the film. They were walking from houses to houses to threaten us to leave our homes. When you say threaten, did any of the people say, I if you know? Did any of your neighbors say, I, I wanted to stay si at my house, I'm not leaving? Answer. At that time, we had been forced to leave our homes. No one could refuse. Realizing that this is 40 years ago, do you recall what the soldier said? Do you remember what was said at your house when your family was told to leave? 
lorsque l'on nous a demandé, lorsque l'on a demandé à votre famille de quitter les lieux. Answer. Réponse. We were told, as I have told you already, we were told to dit, evacuate ourselves out of our houses, and we were told that the American airplane would bomb the place. Nous a dit que les avions américains allaient bombarder cet endroit. Did your family ask Question. to pack things, Votre to bring food? Ban. Answer. Réponse. The Khmer Rouge won the war, and uh, we were getting ready food, cooking pots, nous nous apprêtés, nous avons and uh, when de la they came to threaten us to leave, uh, we uh, had all those belongings Lorsque prepared already, and we took partir, them all with us. Nous avec nous. So your family left Question. with some supplies of food, Votre is that correct? Bad. Answer yes. Réponse oui. And the, the same case uh, in the uh, modern time or now today when there was any chaos, uh, we had to get ready in terms of supplies. And food. By the way, at that time in April Question. 1975, was your father in the army at the time uh, of this? Fall of Phnom Penh, 17 April. Travaillait-il pour l'armée lors de la chute de Phnom Penh, donc était-il au sein de l'armée Réponse. After Khmer Rouge forces entered the, that place, les forces Khmer Rouge they sont arrivées. ordered that the, the former soldiers Et should lay down their weapons. If not, they de would be in danger. It appears that there was an appeal by the late king to ask uh, everyone to lay down weapons. And after we lay down our weapons, uh, after the former soldier laid down the weapons, they went to their homes to uh, find their Wives and children. Now, when you left your home, did your family have Question. any idea of when you would return? Did anyone tell you or did you have any plan about when the family would return? Mr. President, um, maybe the prosecution hasn't finished reading our appeal brief, but we don't actually contest uh, the evacuation or the forced evacuation uh, of any city. Um, we're now one hour and five minutes um, ahead in questioning. Not one question has been asked about why this witness is here. Um, of course, it's up to the prosecution to, to use the time as it deems fit. Um, but they're merely stealing proper time on questioning away from us, and I find it... Cela nous enlève du temps pour poser de vraies questions. Well, let me not say that. Et je préfère... Enfin, je vais me taire maintenant. My understanding is we could ask questions about anything within the scope of case 2-1. Je peux comprendre qu'on pouvait poser n'importe quelle question dans la chambre de dossier 002-01. President, co-prosecutor, you may proceed. Monsieur le procureur, vous pouvez. Thank you. Sorry, sir. The question, let me repeat it to you. Did you have any indication from anyone about when your family might be able to return to their homes? I did not hold any expectation as to when my parents would return home. As I actually witnessed uh, their death. Plutôt, je ne m'attendais pas à ce que mes parents rentrent à la maison. My fault. My question, I'm sure, was not clear to you. When you were told, you said Khmer soldier came to your house and told you to leave, threatened you to leave. 
was any indication given about whether you would be allowed to return and when? De quand, si possible, vous pourriez rentrer chez vous? Bad. Yes. Oui. It's not a fixed issue as there was no confirmation, confirmation as when we uh, could be returned. We were told that we had to leave uh, for a period of time in order to avoid any possible area bombardment by the United States. And, sir, you said your family walked for quite a few days at a very slow pace. Why was the family moving so slow? You said, I believe this morning, one half to one kilometer per day. But I started this morning, there were so many people on the street, it was crowded. You could hardly walk straight, you had to walk sideways. And there were soldiers actually escorting us, they were on both sides of the road, and they were all all in line, along the road, and they were uh, they formed into groups, and they were deployed all along the road until the mountainous area, which was the place where we stopped. What kind of people did you see on the road in terms of ages, first of all? How old and how young? Et quel type de personnes avez-vous vu sur la route Quel était l'âge de ces personnes Réponse. Members of our families had to had to grow together, including young children, old people, mothers carrying their young infant, mères avec leurs nourrissons, grandparents who could hardly walk and also to go. Males and females, regardless of their individuality, some people were carrying a bag of clothing or belonging on their head, but the trip was so slow due to the overcrowd of people on the street. What were the weather conditions? The weather was unpleasant, and you could always see crowds of people swarming the area where water source was present, or where a well was there, or a pond. And after our meal, we had Après to move on. We were not allowed to stay uh, where the water source was. So uh, slowly and gradually, we move uh, donc, bit nous, by bit. Um, and we were only allowed to rest petit when petit. the nightfall came. Were any of the people that you witnessed being forced to leave uh, in bad physical condition. Est-ce que parmi les gens qui ont été forcés de partir, il y en avait-il qui étaient en mauvais, en mauvaise santé? It seemed none at the time. People who had uh, old parents who could hardly walk, would be allowed to stay exemple, near the water source for an hour or so, pour and then they, they had to, to move on. But I did not see any beating or threat uh, to kill, to force people battu, to move on. No, I did not see anything of that nature. Did you see anyone 
and that wasn't quite my question, but Ce thank you. Did you see anyone who appeared to be ill? Yes, I I saw elderly people. I saw people who fainted while they were en route, etc. Thank you. Now, you mentioned going for a moment back to the incident where your father was separated out and you were separated with seven families, excuse me, separated out at the pagoda. You mentioned that of those seven families, one person was a teacher, I believe you said, and one was a civil servant, a medic, excuse me, a medic. The other four families, besides your father, who you said was a captain, do you know, you said the others were military, do you know their ranks? And again, if you do not know, just tell us. Mais si vous ne le savez pas, vous n'avez qu'à le dire. No, I was not aware of that. Réponse, However, je ne savais I pas. knew of their uh, backgrounds uh, in the military service. Mais je, je Here sais. I refer to uh, my relatives or aunts or uncles. And I, I only knew for sure about my father, my, but not about je uh, my... Simplement le rang. Now, sir, after you survived this massacre, you said your sister died. Can you tell us when did your sister die? What I can say is that the condition she was in, that is constant uh, headache, was the result of the trauma she received from the hitting at the back of her head. And she became, she was in these conditions, a few weeks after she attended the teacher uh, training course, later on she became a uh, psychiatric, and uh, ultimately she committed suicide by hanging herself. So is this your sister's suicide after the fall of the regime, after 1979? Yes, it happened uh, post uh, 79, oui. that is after she involved in the uh, teacher training program, but due to her psychiatric condition, mais plutôt, euh, en raison de ses, son, she became ses unstable and that led to her uh, committing suicide. Et Can we get the date, Mr. Witness? A year? En quelle année, yes? of your sister's death. This is what the prosecutor was asking. When did she pass away? I think she died uh, three years ago, if, is, uh, if my calculation is correct. And sir, just so we're clear on one thing, the teacher training, did that occur during the Khmer Rouge regime, the, up before 1979 or after 1979? It happened after 1979, and I think her condition, that is the psychiatric condition, was the result of the trauma 
And she was était le résultat hit. de ce traumatisme. As the back of her head was hit. Alors, on l'a frappé And that à la nuque. Is my uh, conclusion that led to her ultimate death by committing suicide uh, three years ago. Se suicider il y a trois ans. Sir, once you survived this massacre and you were taken to a commune, did were you asked there about your biography? Une commune. Vous a-t-on demandé de rédiger votre biographie? May I ask you back as to which regime are you referring to when a biography was collected? Was it during the Khmer Rouge regime or was it during the post Khmer Rouge regime? I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't understand the interpreter. I just missed a word. I didn't understand the witness's question to me. So perhaps, sir, let me repeat my question, because obviously my question was not clear. You talked about going to Krang Lovia to a cooperative. Is that correct? Bad. Yes, that is correct. In that cooperative, were you asked to make a biography? Did anyone ask you about your biography? No. I was not uh, asked about uh, my biography. Non. They actually, they only wanted to know the total number of uh, family members in order uh, to obtain rights. At that cooperative, were the other people there all local people, or were they people who had been come from different areas like you had? But in the cooperative, uh, there were best people and new people, that is, uh, those who came to reside at that location, and uh, actually there were more new people than the best people. As uh, people of, of families uh, of those people were placed in various uh, cooperatives, mingled with the base people. Those words that you just used, base people and new people, were they used at the time? And if so, who used them? Who distinguished base people and new people? ได้ยินเตือนเวียนิยายเจตุเตอร์ตะมองในตามสหกรณ์เอชันอันนั้นเนี่ยชื่อ before 1975, they were considered the old best people, and for the evacuees, they were considered the new best people. So, which were you considered? Question. Et category I was uh, amongst the evacuees, that's uh, the new base people. Sir, was there any difference in treatment Question. at the cooperative between the old... Oh, there's an objection, so I'll stop. Mr. President. Mr. President. Mr. President, it's now one hour and 20 minutes, and still no question uh, about the so-called massacre. Um, please urge um, you and the Supreme Court Chamber to instruct Je vous à vous et à la uh, or ask or whatever the uh, prosecutor to ask questions uh, to this witness about this alleged massacre. 
Your Honors, first Recusation. of all, the defense appeal is challenging all the convictions, including the uh, forced evacuation. Uh, the defense asked this question, this witness, questions repeatedly this morning, so for over three hours, many of them repetitious about the massacre. He has told us in detail exactly. The president interrupts the uh, prosecutor. In order to uh, avoid losing time, the objection by the defense counsel is overruled, and you may continue. Thank you. Sir, the question was, was there any difference in treatment between the old base people and the new base people? Traitons différemment les gens de l'ancien peuple de base de ceux du nouveau peuple de base? Yes, uh, there was a Réponse. distinction. The oui. old base people hate more Les rice than us. The new base de people mangeaient plus de riz que nous, ceux du We nouveau did not de have the, any authority, for example, to plant a potato at home or to harvest it. Enfin de later on, de we were de not allowed to plant anything at home. We had to deliver everything that we had to the cooperative. Nous le, nous but le for all best people, contre, they could partly put or share their produce uh, with the cooperative and uh, keep some for their family or uh, personal use. In terms of the uh, management for work-related uh, purpose, pour ce qui était des tâches, the old best people would monitor or would supervise the work of the new best people. That, that is a, the, the structure, and it applies to both to uh, adult people and to uh, youth. So the old best people had much more rights than the new best people. When you were on the, at the cooperative, did you have the option? Did you ever think about going home? And if so, if not, why not? Et le cas échéant, pourquoi pas? Le prix. No, we could not. We could not go. Non, nous ne pouvions pas. When we had to go to work, we had our supervisor. Lorsque nous avions travaillé. An old best person, and we could not uh, ask for permission, for example, for, for a day after we visit our home. Demander la permission if, we, de if it was a resting time, we could rest for an hour, for example, si une de pause, on at the work site, and then we continued working. De travail, mais ensuite, nous devions continuer à travailler. Monsieur le Président, c'est vraiment évident. It is obvious les questions du procureur that ne sont pas sur le thème de cet appel. Je rappelle, M. le procureur, que nous sommes en appel du appeal. premier procès et like que nous ne sommes pas dans le deuxième procès. Il y a une disjonction avec tous les inconvénients que ça suppose. Nous en discutons aussi dans cet appel. Mais là, c'est n'importe quoi. Mais ici, nous allons dans toutes les différentes directions sans any real purpose. Your Honor, as the defense counsel knows, I'm cer certain part of the basis of the convictions in this case was a joint criminal enterprise and various policies, including uh, cooperatives where enslavement was practiced was part of the joint criminal enterprise. So I think I should be allowed to ask questions about the cooperatives and about the treatment of different people, and I'm about to get into later the treatment of enemies. Mr. President, the prosecution is making a mockery of this, of this appeal. It is disgraceful what has happened. Please intervene. L'accusation se moque de l'appel. Veuillez intervenir. Mr. Prosecutor, we note that cooperatives are not in the judgment. There is very little mention of the cooperatives in the judgment, so uh, I, I, don't, I, I, I think that this is not uh, the appropriate use of, of, of the time in, uh, in uh, the area of relevance. So uh, unless you would uh, 
move back to, <laughs> to the massacre, massacre, we would um, adjourn, nous lever. retire um, to the chamber for the break. Well, Your Honor, I would like to move back to the issue of policy that uh, was covered by the last witness and this witness in particular, the last policy witness. of targeting enemies. Well, this is very general, so it's uh, difficult to guess the relevance, but let's give it a shot. But cooperatives are uh, not uh, addressed in the judgment. Uh, yes, I will not argue with it. My point was that the joint criminal enterprise crimes were addressed. And enslavement, the prosecution always felt was key to that. But let me move on, sir. Thank you, Your Honor. At the cooperative, did you ever hear any discussion of enemies? Dans la coopérative. Excuse me. Let me strike those words. Je vais, non, -moi After you survived the massacre, après avoir survécu à ce massacre, from the time you survived in April 1975 through the end of the regime in 1979, de 1979, did you ever hear any discussion by the regime or any members of the Khmer Rouge of the enemies or enemy policy? Des ennemis ou d'une politique relative aux ennemis. Ban. Réponse. In fact, the term enemy uh, means that Ce once uh, you ennemi. were alleged of uh, making a mistake, you Signifie will be considered si an enemy. For example, stealing a piece of potato or even the potato that you yourself Même planted, que vous you will be accused of being an enemy and sent to be detained. Et vous pouviez être envoyé en prison. As you will be alleged of an enemy against the revolution. After you survived the massacre, did you ever encounter any incidences where you witnessed the regime searching for law and no soldiers or officers or former civil servants? Yes. Réponse. Oui. After the killing of my parents, and while I was in Tangkru village, Kranglubi commune, de Tangkru dans le I witnessed the a gathering of Prisoners, hundreds of them, de qui and in the morning I saw them walk le in le line while being tied up, and uh, there was a batch of 50 or 100 prisoners, they were walking passing my house Et towards the marché, east, marché though I must say I didn't know where they were taken to. And that's what I witnessed while I was at uh, Tang Kru village, Grand Beer commune. And I tended the cows at uh, my village of Tang Kru, and Tankrou. those people were tied up and being walked et ces in line. Et and from what I could observe, en, uh, en they were probably former soldiers. Et ce que ils étaient peut-être, probablement, d'anciens soldats. Your Honours, I would just, if Your Honours want to, at the break, you may wish to refer on the judgment. Paragraph 615 is entitled Refashioning in the Cooperatives. I just wanted to bring that to Your Honours' attention. Mr. Witness, the incident that you just spoke about, can you tell us what year that occurred? If, again, if you don't know, don't guess, but just ne pas. Si vous ne savez if pas, you know or if you could estimate, if you do not know the Mais answer, si do not guess, but guess, but tell us what, if deviner. you recall. What are you referring to, uh, Prosecutor? Are you referring to uh, the events that I witnessed uh, prisoners being walked in line while being tied up? Yes, sir. That's correct. Question. Oui, c'est ça. Réponse. 
Well, if there is the case, there, I actually witnessed uh, the prisoners being walked in lunch while being tied up while I tended the uh, cows at the rice field in that uh, village. I was taking a shelter in a plantation and I, at the time, uh, witnessed those people being tied up in line and were being walked. And at one time, I uh, could estimate that there were between 50 to 60 of them. Sometimes the line was uh, a bit longer, could be 100, and sometimes it was shorter, could be 40 prisoners, and they were being walked from the west to the east direction, though I did not know where they were heading to. Do you know if that was 1975 or 1976 or later? Do you know? Ou plus tard. I think it was in late 1975. The people that you saw tied up, what was their gender? Were they men, women, or mixed? If uh, my conclusion is not wrong, from the uh, physical appearance, they were former Lunar soldiers. President uh, Mr. Co-Prosecutor, please hold on, as uh, we need to change uh, the disc, the DVD, and we need to uh, uh, five minutes break, and in fact, your time has run out uh, as well. Do you have many more questions uh, to go to this witness? Uh, please uh, alert the chamber. May I, may I just have one moment? My colleague was talking to me, but I couldn't hear. Uh, confirm with my colleague. Your Honours, I believe that I can finish quickly Madame after Monsieur covering a little bit more details about this incident that he's now speaking about. We are really not interested in this incident. Please use your last few minutes asking this witness questions about the massacre, Mr. Prosecution.